So, do you want honest answers? I didn't come here for a pack of lies, just a few questions. All right. Question number one, who roughed me up? Answer, I don't know, I didn't see him. Question number two. What was question number two? What was taken? Ah, what was taken? I don't know. So, you didn't see and you don't know. Those are my answers, Commissioner. You want me to buy that? I want you to buy whatever you want to buy, because that's what you're going to do anyway. Luke. Who are you talking to here? Oh, Robert, please don't banter your title around. I know the title. I know all that comes with it. We're not talking about my title. Well, you've certainly been flashing it around here lately, you know. We're not talking about who I am. We're talking about what we've been through together. My knowledge of the fact that you have a... a distaste of authority. I had the same problem myself. Yes, but you saw the light. And you were saved. And you had my heartfelt congratulations. Maybe a spot of teamwork could work here. Hello! Oh, now you are sounding like Bert Ramsey. Let's get down to business. I understand your office was broken into. What did the alarm go off? It wasn't wired. How'd they get in? I suppose they walked in. All right, look, here's the truth, right? I walk into the office. Some guy clubs me from behind. Mm -hmm. You want to see the lump? I'll take your word for it. Who found you? My piano player. Well, what was taken? Nothing that I know of. You don't know what they were looking for? No, sir. Well, maybe the piano player knows. Maybe he does. He checked in about five minutes ago. You can hear him tinkling the ivories even as we speak. Right in there. Maybe I'll talk to him. Thank you. You bet. Was that Scorpio? You know it was. Oh, I thought I recognized the voice. I would think you would recognize more than that. Now, what does that mean? I don't know, Connie. I don't know what his visit means. I mean, we had a little, uh, break in here the other day. I didn't call the commissioner. Gregory didn't call the commissioner. I'm wondering who did. Paths of the police are mysterious. Very mysterious. Don't you have work to do? Yes, sir. when I was a kid sick in bed and this nurse in school was taking care of me. I mean, you would not believe this woman. She was a real hag. Are you sure you want to tell me this? No, 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 you'll love it. Wait. Anyway, I'm sick, right? I mean, I'm really sick. And she wants me to drink this concoction that she's made. What was I going to do? I drank it. Are you positive you want to tell Will me? Will you let me finish? You drank it. All the way down. And it came all the way up, all over the nurse who was sitting with you. Can I tell you this? I just sort of figured it out on my own. That wasn't very appropriate, was mm -mm, it? Mm-mm, It wasn't appropriate at all, but I loved every second of it. <laughs> well, is there anything I can get you? I know about this concoction, you know. No, no, that's okay. Really, I appreciate the offer, but I'd hate to ruin that shirt. Jake, I'm really, I'm so sorry that this happened. I wanted you to get the chance to know Luke tonight. Oh, come on, forget it. There'll be other chances. I know, but this is important. Once you get to know Luke and you start believing in him, you're gonna, you might want to help him campaign. Well, I might. You will then. I said I might. Tell me something, Counselor. What does it take to get a straight answer out of you? A healthy rose. And what's that supposed to mean? It's a bribe. Oh. You get better and I'll help you out with Luke's campaign, maybe. You drive a hard bargain. No, actually, I drive an old car. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, don't no, make me laugh. <laughs> All these things I didn't know about you. Oh, he, he was something else. Um, a little too straight in high school, but um, I tell you, once you got to college, wow, he just blossomed. <laughs> <laughs> blossomed right, right on into pre-med. Yeah, that, uh, that really sobered us up, didn't it? Hey, you remember the moment when we both decided to take that big step into medicine? Bunny, are you kidding? How could I ever forget a, a momentous occasion like that? Uh, 
Listen, you've got to tell Celia. Well, uh, it was very sad. My uh, pet hamster had been sick for weeks, and uh, we tried every method to cure him. Nothing worked. He died. <laughs> we were 11 years old, and uh, we swore right then we'd become doctors. Right. And later, we really learned how to swear. <laughs> All those stories. Hey, could you write a book or something? Well, I really wish one of you would tell me about the story of the summer of 1968. Fred, I give you the honors. Ah, uh, uh, another time, maybe. What's wrong with right now? Well, you remember that phone call I made to the hospital? Well, not another emergency. Now, you used that excuse last night, uh, No, Fred. no, it's not an emergency. I just realized that I'd left some notes back in the office. So pick them up later. I can't. No, early OR schedule. I, I'm afraid I'm going to have to call it a night, Bunny. Oh, come on, at, at least an after-dinner train. No, I really can't. Oh, he really has changed. Do you know he founded a club in college called the uh, Wee Hours of the Morning Club? <laughs> <laughs> well, we all get old sometime. Well, some sooner than others, I guess. Listen, I promise we're still going to get that full night in there somewhere. Uh, so are you coming with me? Uh, of course. Good. Uh, it's all right. I've no. got it. Wait a second, you got last night's. Right, so now you owe me two. Thank you, Benny. It's my pleasure. Good night, Bye, pal. Everybody's practically gone, and Jake is finishing up the dishes. Any problems? None whatsoever. Nothing I couldn't handle anyway. Look, get sick any time, okay? I'll take over. So, do you want to start with this drink? Hey, um, I was wondering if that was for me. Um, what is it? Well, it's a kind of a medicine for all purposes. Mm -hmm. Medicinal? Yeah, well, it cures all ills. Your own recipe? No, Jake's. No, thank you. Don't you want to sip? Do you want to wear it downstairs? What do you mean? I mean, no thanks, really. Tell you what, pour it down the sink in the bathroom and tell Jake that I drank it, okay? Well, don't you want to just try it? No, no, not at all. <laughs> all right, you know better than I do. Tell you what I want. What's that? A healthy jigger of a medium-priced Irish whiskey. <laughs> the last time I heard, kids my age cannot buy liquor in the state. You don't have to. It just so happens I have a bottle. Joe left it before he went to Albany, and it's in my dresser. Okay. The second sure. drawer, and I think it's, I think it's on the left under some lingerie. Uh, voila. That's it. Uh, do you need a shot glass or no, something? No, 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 no. That's okay. I have my own method of I measurement. See. Mud in your eye. That should kill the virus. And everything else in the vicinity. <laughs> Are you better now? Much. Good. I wish I could help you, Commissioner, but I didn't get a very good look at the guy. It happened very fast, and I was very scared. What were you doing here? I work here. In the middle of the afternoon. Well, the stuff I do doesn't come to me in the middle of the night. I've got to keep current on the latest songs, got to keep my repertoire in shape. It takes a lot of rehearsal. The piano's a long way from Spence's office. Yeah, but uh, the men's room is just down the hall. I was passing the office. I heard a noise, stuck my head in to find out what was going on. You know the rest. Listen, I, uh, I gotta get back to work. You mind? Sure. Okay. No coffee for you. Thank you. Jackie. Well, well, our illustrious police commissioner. I never congratulated you on the Susan Baldwin murder. Right, you should have hung around for the finale. Well, when duty calls, what can I say? I guess, um, time heals all wounds, or whatever it's called, isn't gonna work in our place. Is there some reason why it should? Let bygones be bygones. Time heals old wounds, let bygones be bygones. Let me guess, next will be distance makes the heart grow fonder. I think you're trying to tell me that uh, any kind of friendship's out of the question. Why don't we take a stab at coexistence, like the Arabs and the Jews? I suppose the forgive and forget is out, too. <laughs> Tiffany, you look great. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. 
That's it, Lou. We're closed. Three pitches later, and finally the last customer leaves. I don't know how anybody puts up with it. Heck, I don't know how Rose puts up with it. Lou? coffee in the history of caffeine. Uh, we don't sell much of it around here. I can imagine. Thank you. It's been a while, Hendrick. I knew our paths would cross again eventually. Did you know it was full moon? Our last meeting was on a full moon. Never had much faith in astrology. Neither have I. Now, bad omens, that's a different thing. Yeah. Well, you stick around this town, you're going to have more than bad omens to worry about. Thanks for the warning. I think I'll ignore it. Not so fast. What's the matter? Bad coffee. My gut's in a problem. Don't threaten me, Scorpio. It's in a bad taste now. What's going on here? You really did let the scum of the earth into this place, don't you? Well, I'm sorry, Commissioner, but anyone who pays his money and minds his own business is welcome in my place. That's all right, Luke. Mr. Scorpio here just mistook me for someone else. Is that true, Robert? Yeah. Luke, My Luke, telephone to you, D.L. Brock. Thanks, Jeff. I'll take it in the office. All right. No need to involve him in our old battles. Not at this point, anyway. They told me you retired. They must have also told you that I was the police commissioner in this town. <laughs> yes, it sort of reminded me of turning a horse loose on the pasture. From over the hill, pal, so are you. Good point. Now, now that we've dispensed with a light-hearted vandal, let's get down to business. What are you doing here? Well, I, too, have retired, sort of. Agents never retire. Well, some of us try, don't we, Robert? Hendrick, I asked you a question. What are you doing? A little reward from my government, uh, sort of a paid vacation. I come here, uh, look at the expo, uh, soak up some of the charm of your quaint little town, and my government picks up the trick. Oh, no, it's something more than that. You're after something. I already found it. The woman I love. In Port Charles. Ah, it's a small world, they tell me. What's the real reason? Those are the real reasons. I am with the diplomatic corps. I'm here to visit the expo. And the woman I love happens to live here. You're a liar, Hendrick, and a bad one at that. <laughs> Will you be greeting all your guests like this? Only the ones that aren't welcome. You're treading a very narrow line here, Brennick. You deviate from it that much. I'll have you deported. Sure, I'll try to remember that. Hendrick? Ah, there she is now. Excuse me. Commissioner, you, uh, you don't look happy. Having a caffeine fit. Oh, yeah? Don't drink the coffee here, ma'am. We don't sell much of it. I can imagine. You know that guy that uh, Jackie's with? Yeah, what about him? Keep her away from him. Are you jealous? Hardly. Concern. That's one very dangerous dude there. I guess we'll be seeing one another around. I guess we will. Bennett, Excuse down. me, I'm, I'm looking for something, a page of notes. Uh, I, I might have left it on the desk. I might oh, have dropped yeah, it on sure, the floor. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, I saw it. 
I thought you wanted it thrown out. Uh, it looked like trash. What am I supposed to do? Oh, oh, where is it? Do you remember? Where did you put it? Mm. Grant, go easy on her. I mean, I'm sure it's not that important. No, Celia, you're wrong. It's some vital information. Please, It'll where is it? It'll be right here in this basket. Well, good for you. I'll, um, I'll be going then. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Trouble. Hey, I enjoyed it. It's not often I get to see a doctor go off his rocker. <laughs> Another ten minutes. This will be burning up at the basement incinerator. What is it, anyway? Just, uh, some, some very important notes. Oh. We're going to have to make it up to Bunny, you know. There will be time another night, Celia. Yes. Well, right now, why don't you tell me about the summer of 68? You really don't know? No. No, I'm dying to find out. Bunny seems so serious about it all. Yes. Tell me, what do you remember about Karen? She has something to do with all this? Just tell me what you know. Well, she and Benny were the talk of the town. Everyone just naturally assumed they were going together. And then one day, she told me about this sailor she'd met. Next thing I knew, she was pregnant and had an abortion. So, that was it. Benny thought the baby was his? Un until I told him about the sailor. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. Oh, no wonder you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> it was very painful. It, uh, it still is in, in some ways. Well, you've got your notes now. Let's go home. Tell me, what's on the agenda? Oh, I thought we'd go straight to bed. Mm -hmm. 